And guys, in this video, we are going to see an example of ideal transformers. In this particular problem, we have asked to find out the V1 and V2 values. Now, before we go ahead and do this problem, let's uh, simplify this circuit because we have 18 impedance and this, these impedances are uh, separated. We can combine these two together, right? So when we combine, we are going to have the new circuit. Let's go ahead and draw the circuit. Let's draw with a different color. Okay, this is our new circuit. In this circuit, we are going to draw the impedances. Okay, so let's create a blue box for that. Okay, this is our first impedance, second impedance, and uh, that's it, right? So let's go ahead and write our impedances. So the first one is going to be 18 minus 4J, 18 minus 4J, and this one is going to become 2 plus J1, and that's it. Now we are going to replace the voltage source, inductance, and that's it. Okay, let's draw the, these things. Here we have a voltage source that is 120 zero degree, and this is our inductance plus minus V1, and here we have V2 plus minus, and uh, this is uh, ideal transformer. So this sign represents this is an ideal transformer and also the ratio is 4 to 1 this ratio is representing n1 and n2 values okay now here we have to assume the current direction also we have to put the dots the first dot is right here and the second dot is right here and uh, let's assume the current direction let's say the current is flowing in this direction let's call this one i1 and let's call this one i2 now when we deal with ideal transformers there are two equations the first equation is I1 over I2 is equal to N2 over N1 and there's another equation that is V1 over V2 is equal to N1 over N2 okay for I1 over I2 this is opposite N2 over N1 V1 over V2 that's N1 over N2 now we have to decide whether this is going to be positive or negative so for I1 over I2 we decide the sign based on the current entering if the both of them are entering the dot it means that's going to be negative if one of them entering and one of them is exiting it means it's going to be positive in our case if you look at this i1 i1 is entering this dot right so also this i2 also entering the dot if both of them are entering or both of them are exiting it's going to be negative so in our case both of them are entering the dot so it's going to be negative right here okay and v1 and v2 we have to have if we have both of these dot in the plus or both of them are in the minus is going to be positive if one of them is right here like one of them is in the positive and one of them is in the negative it means this is also going to be negative okay so we get both of them negative now from this one we can create the equations because we know the n1 and n2 values n1 is 4 n2 is 1 that's the ratio given right here okay so from this one we can create the equation so let's create the equation for this one this is going to be i1 is equal to negative n2 is going to be 1 so 1 over 4 i2 right 1 over 4 i2 so this is the ratio for this one and uh, for v1 over v2 we can read that this one as v1 is equal to negative n1 n1 is 4 so negative 4 v2 okay so these are the like these are the connection we can make right now now we are trying to solve for v1 and v2 now in order to do that we can create the Kirchhoff's voltage law in each loops so let's create the Kirchhoff's voltage law for the first loop if we do that we can see that uh, kvl for loop 1 loop 1 and if we do that we can see this i1 is entering this v1 and positive to negative that's going to be plus v1 and then this is going through this voltage source that's going to be negative 120 zero degree and after that it's going through this impedance that's going to be plus 18 minus 4j times i1 okay so this is the that's the whole thing should be equal to zero so this is the equation for the loop one and uh, also we can bring this 120 zero to the other side in that way we will get v1 plus 18 minus 4j i1 is equal to 
plus 120 0 degree okay so let's call this one equation 1 okay this is our equation 1 and to create another equation we are going to use the curve of voltage law in the loop 2 and if we apply kvl for loop 2 loop 2 we are going to have this i2 is entering this v2 and going from negative to positive so this is going to be negative v2 and then after that it's going through this impedance so this is going to be 2 plus j1 i2 that should be equal to 0 okay so this is another equation now here we can make a connection okay because we know that we have this connection also right i1 is equal to negative 1 over 4 i2 and also we have v1 is equal to negative 4 v2 here what we can do is instead of i2 so i should i can also write this one as i2 is equal to negative 4 i1 right if i rearrange this equation i2 is equal to negative 4 i1 i'm going to bring that pattern because i'm going to substitute v2 like this v2 in this equation here we have v1 okay okay let's try to bring everything in terms of i1 and then we can see what we can do okay first we know that i2 is equal to negative for i1 what i'm going to do is instead of this i1 i'm going to plug this negative for i1 or instead of this v1 we can put negative for v2 in that way that looks better okay so here i am going to put this one and uh, this is a let's box this second equation for the second equation what we are going to do is instead of this i2 i am going to plug this i2 is equal to negative for i1 okay in that way we can bring everything into one unknown okay let's go ahead and do that first if we plug uh, this negative 4v2 in this one this equation is going to become negative 4v2 plus 18 minus 4j i1 that's equal to 120 0 degree okay and when we plug negative 4 i1 for this i2 this is going to become 2 plus j1 times negative for i1 because we are replacing this one negative for i1 is equal to plus v2 okay and after that what i'm going to do is first let's multiply this one so if you multiply this negative for i1 with this one you are going to get negative 8 minus 4j times i1 and instead of this now this is whole thing is equal to v2 right so v2 is equal to this one so what we can do is instead of this v2 if we place this one we can have everything in one unknown variable right we will have only i1 so let's go ahead and do that and if we do that let's write it with a different color so this is going to turn into negative 4 times negative 8 minus 4j times i1 and plus 18 minus 4j i1 that should be equal to 120 0 degree okay 0 degree now let's get rid of some of the part because we need some space so let's get rid of this top part right here this circuit after we create this equation we don't need this one anymore so let's get rid of this one let's continue the, the rest of the part on top so here we are going to continue so we have created this equation now let's try to simplify this one so here we have negative 4 times this and if you multiply this is going to become positive 32 because negative negative positive then that plus 16 i1 okay i1 and this one remains that's going to be plus 18 minus 4j i1 the whole thing is equal to 120 0 degree and uh, if we simplify this one add these two together that's going to give us 50 plus 12j times i1 
and uh, that is equal to 120 0 degree therefore we can solve for i1 i1 is going to be 120 0 degree divided by 50 plus 12 j and that's going to give us 2.33 negative 13.5 degree so this is our i1 so we have solved one of them but our purpose is to find v1 and v2 so we have solved for i1 let's box this one down for now and from this one we can find i2 because we have created the ratio that i2 is equal to negative 4 i1 so i2 we can let's write this one down i2 is equal to negative 4 i1 therefore if we multiply this one with negative 4 that's going to give us 9.33 166.5 degree so this is our i2 value let's box this down box this one down and also we have created the relationship between i1 and v2 because we know that negative 8 minus 4j times i1 is equal to v2 so let's get rid of this part right here okay let's get rid of these parts okay so here we have let's use a different color so here we know that v2 is equal to negative 8 4j i1 let's copy this equation down v2 is equal to negative 8 minus 4j times i1 and we know the i1 value and if you multiply you will get 20 okay this one i1 or i2 v2 is equal to negative okay this one is i1 right yeah so this one is going to give us 20.87 negative 166.9 degree so this is our v2 value now using this one we can find a v1 value because we know that v1 is equal to negative for v2 so we let's write this one down v1 is equal to negative for v2 and from this one we can calculate our v1 value v1 value is going to be equivalent to 83.49 angle is going to be 13.1 degree and that's how we do this kind of problems i hope this helps thanks for watching